What's up, Fight Fans, MMA fans? Welcome. This is the J Man here. And today is Saturday, December 12th, which means UFC 107. So, what I'd like to do is play some bets on uh, MMAPlayground.com. And I'll give you a um, complete rundown of the odds and my bets for each match. Okay, let's get right to it. Alright, so. On MMAPlayground.com, I have currently $2,914 in simulated money. Yes, all the bets are simulated. Okay, so let's go down here to the bottom of the card, starting out. We're going to be looking at uh, Paul the Headhunter Buenatello versus Stefan Struve. Okay, Buenatello comes in at negative 110. And Stefan Struve is at negative 120. All right, well, seeing as how both fighters have negative odds, that's not very good. Uh, and I don't, I don't have any overwhelming thought as to who will win this. Um, it's almost like a one-to-one -one bet, except that it negative payout, which is never really good. Uh, I don't think either one is a good bet at this price so I'm gonna pass on it okay we'll move on to the next one looking at Mike Pierce versus John Fitch and Mike Pierce is positive one positive 760 John Fitch is negative 800 so Fitch is hugely the uh, the favor the favorite uh, Pierce is definitely the underdog and um, at positive 760 though that's a high risk, um, but what goes along with high risk is a large payout. It's almost you know uh, ten times what you pay. It pays back. So at positive seven sixty, I'm gonna put down a small amount. I'm gonna put down seven. See if I only bet seven, then I only stand to lose seven, but I have a chance of winning fifty three. So yeah, I'm probably gonna lose seven dollars because John Fitch is most likely gonna win but and the rare chance that he doesn't win I make fifty three dollars so it's pretty good I mean you never know in MMA with the four ounce gloves anything can happen so that's a decent bet alright I'm gonna look at the next fight which is Shane Nelson at positive 360 he's the underdog going up against Matt Hanson Wyman at negative 400 he is the favorite Okay, so, uh, negative 400, that's not good at all. I definitely don't want to bet there. Uh, I don't particularly think Wyman will win or Shane Nelson. I don't, you know, have a strong feeling about either one. Uh, positive 360, it's a big risk. So, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take either one. I'm going to pass. Next is Ricardo Funch at positive 680 versus Johnny Hendricks at Negative 720. Okay, this is a lot like the Mike Fitch, uh, John Fitch, Mike Pierce fight. Uh, the odds are similar. Johnny Hendricks at negative 720, whereas John Fitch is at negative 800. So, if you think of it that way, Ricardo Funch pays out positive 680, which, you know, it's not as much as Mike Pierce at positive 760, but it's still pretty good. So it's less of a risk, but less of a payoff than Mike Pierce. Um, so what I'm going to do, so I'm going to bet, instead of seven, I'll bet six on Ricardo Funch, which pays out uh, $40 if you win, if, if Ricardo wins. Um, yeah. Well, let's see here. He's less of a risk than uh, Pierce, so I might as well bet more than I bet on Pierce. Instead of it's seven, I'll bet eight. It's less of a risk. And there we go. I make 54 if he wins. So cross my fingers. All right. Lucio Linares versus Ru Rosamar Palhares. Okay. Lucio coming in at a positive 360. Rosamar at negative 400. All right. That's the same exact odds as Shane Nelson and Matt Wyman so I'm gonna pass on that 
Next fight, Edgar Garcia versus Demarcus Johnson. Edgar Garcia at negative 105. Demarcus Johnson, negative 125. Uh, I think that's like, well, that's close to Paul Pontello, Stefan Struve fight. It's almost like a one to one. Both are negative. That's not a very good bet either way. So I'm going to pass. Uh, next, Clay Guida, 170 positive. Kenny Florian, negative 180. That means Kenny Florian is a favorite. Yes, I agree with that. Clay Guida, positive 170. You know, I'd most likely bet on uh, Florian, but at negative 180, I just don't think he uh, he's going to finish the fight. I don't, I don't trust the judges. The judges' decision can go either way. Uh, Clay Guida, I don't think he's going to finish the fight either. At positive 170, it's kind of a risk because he's most likely going to lose. Uh, yeah, no, I just don't like it. So I'm not going to bet on that either. That's a pass-up. Kevin Burns, TJ Grant. Kevin Burns, negative 115. TJ Grant, negative 125. This is exactly the same, I think. Well, almost the same as the other fight. Edgar Garcia and Marcus Johnson. Pretty much the same thing here. Uh, and then the next fight is the same exact odds. Negative 115, Wilson Coivea. Alan Belcher, negative 125. Uh, yeah, I don't like those odds. I'm not going to bet there. But I will say this. Uh, Wilson Goivea versus Alan Belcher. Uh, I heard a rumor. I read something that uh, they're not actually going to fight at the scheduled weight. They were going to fight at a, a previously agreed upon catch weight. So that might change the, the uh, outcome of the fight. But we'll see. Anyway, on to the next fight, which is uh, Diego Nightmare Sanchez at positive 260. He's the underdog versus BJ the prize you pin, negative 275. He is the favorite. Uh, this is a little bit different than the actual odds, um, which has BJ at negative 300. So you get a little bit better of a deal here at 275. Um, I think BJ is... Most likely going to win, so I'm going to bet on him, even though it pays out negative. I'm going to put down 75, which means if BJ wins, I get $27. And if he loses, I lose 75, obviously. But I feel pretty strongly that BJ will win. Anyway, the next fight is going to be my real money maker, Frank Mir, negative 240, Czech Congo positive 215. So negative two forty. That's not that's not bad for uh, Frank Mir. I feel pretty strongly he's going to win. So I'm going to bet quite a bit more than I bet on BJ. If I bet seventy five on BJ, I'll bet. Uh, let's see here. I'll bet one forty on Frank Mir. Turns out to be fifty eight dollars if I win. And uh, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So that would bring my totals to. Uh, max profit, $192. Max loss, $230. Uh, I stand to lose more than I stand to win. That's never a good thing. So I need to adjust that. And the way I'm going to fix that is... Uh, betting on some of the positive guys. Bet a little bit more on the positive guys. Like okay, instead of betting eight, instead of betting eight on Ricardo Funch, I'm gonna bet eighteen. Instead of betting seven on Mike Pierce, I'm gonna bet seventeen, which changes things to my profit three three thirty six potential potential losses two fifty. So much higher on the wins on the on the profit than the losses. All right, so that wraps that up. I'm all done there. And last thing I want to do is just give a few quick shout-outs. Some of the guys on YouTube, some MMA fans and reviewers. Um, Divine Massacre, a.k.a. the MMA Professor. I really like your videos. Uh, everybody go watch his videos, subscribe. And uh, also, Billy DKY, The Truth. Uh, 
he's got good videos too. You should check him out definitely. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later. And uh, yeah, um, enjoy UFC 107.